So what are braided streams? A braided stream is going to be a river channel that splits into several smaller interweaving channels separated by temporary islands or bars made of deposited sediment. Now these sediments can include things like your sand or your pebbles. So for a more simple explanation, a braided stream is basically going to form when your river is going to lay down all the sediment and that will block its own path which will cause your river to split into different smaller channels. So where are braided streams found? They're typically going to be found in your lower course of a river and they're going to be common in areas with a high sediment load because that's basically why a braided stream will form because of the high sediment load or because of the amount of sand or pebbles in that actual river. So how does a braided stream actually form? So firstly, you're going to have a seasonal river that's going to carry a large load of sediment. So that means that the river is basically going to carry a lot of sand, a lot of gravel and a lot of silt. Then during any low flow or a sudden drop in velocity, because remember this river is going to occur in the lower course and the lower course is going to have a very gentle gradient. So the river flow is definitely going to decrease. So once you get a sudden drop in the velocity, the river is then going to slow down. And once it slows down, it's going to deposit all of the material on the riverbed. So the material that we're talking about is going to be all your sand, your gravel and your silt. Now, as the deposition continues, it will then form small islands or small bars, obviously, as you can see in the diagram. Can you see those small islands? Those are going to form because of your continuous deposition, right? Now, the water will then be forced to split around your bars or islands, and that is going to form your multiple shallow channels. Now, these smaller channels will be known as your distributaries. And obviously, over time, the channels are going to continuously shift, which will then create a braided appearance. Now, what are some characteristics of braided streams? They're going to consist of multiple interweaving channels. They're going to be known as your distributaries. They are going to be separated by your temporary sand and gravel bars. They're going to be shallow, wide and constantly changing course. They are going to occur in rivers with high sediment load and variable flow. And they are often unstable and prone to flooding during your heavy rains. And obviously because of that, they're usually going to have low vegetation on the islands due to your constant reshaping. Now I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Now, if you found that this video was useful, please don't forget to give the video a like. Please subscribe for more. Now, if you have any questions or topics that you want me to cover next, please drop them in the comment section. I'll always read the comments and I will always reply. Thank you so much for watching. Stay cool, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.